Forensic Science Witness Testimony Eliminate the impossible, and whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Solving a crime is generally more complicated than sitting in your armchair analyzing facts, as Sherlock Holmes often did. Most crimes today are solved by analyzing evidence. I'm going to talk about how evidence is collected from a crime scene, witness testimony, why memory can be a tricky thing, leading questions, remembering faces, and police lineups. Forensic science studies the physical evidence related to a crime. Detectives collect, wit collect witness evidence and follow up leads. They both have to use their powers of observation to notice details and decide what's important to the case. Observation isn't as easy as it sounds, especially when we rely on our memories. Forensic scientists try to collect as much physical evidence as they can and record it so we don't have to rely on memory. But sometimes there just isn't enough physical evidence to tell us the whole story, and that's where witnesses can be helpful. It's not easy to remember details after the fact, but at the time, we don't always know what to focus on. Look at the crime scene photo for 60 seconds and notice as many details as possible. Now take a few minutes to answer the following five questions without referring back to the picture you just saw. You see how hard it is? Most of us have trouble remembering details about things we see every day. When asked to draw a picture of a penny, back in the days when people still used those, most people couldn't remember more than a few details. The questions that you ask can affect how witnesses will remember an event. When asked about a car crash, subjects were more than twice as likely to falsely report breakage when asked, did you see the broken headlight, as opposed to, did you see a broken headlight? Many people claim they never forget a face, but how accurate is this really? A study conducted on a hundred housewives found no correlation between how good people thought they were at remembering faces and how good they actually were. Neuropsychological evidence supports the idea that there is a special memory system for faces and it's separate from our overall memory abilities. Another study based on categorizing facial characteristics such as honesty, intelligence, and liveliness or whether or not a particular face is disguised using a fake beard or glasses found that most people are pretty bad at accurately describing faces. This effect was magnified when any type of disguise was used. There have been many cases of people convicted of crimes based on a witness identification who were later released when the real criminal confessed to the crime. We're much better at recognizing faces than describing them and for this reason police lineups are an important part of the investigation process. Of course, these are not foolproof either. It's, an important, it's important that all suspects in a lineup look broadly alike. If one Asian is placed in a lineup of African American suspects, obviously they'll stand out and will be more likely to be recognized by the witness, whether or not it's the actual criminal the witnesses saw. If a photograph of a suspect is shown to a witness before a lineup and that suspect is in the lineup, then they're more likely to be identified by the witness. 
whether or not they're the one the witness actually saw at the crime scene. The clothing a suspect in a lineup is wearing can also affect the outcome if it's similar to the clothing the actual criminal was wearing at the scene of the crime. There have even been cases where an, an accused person, after being identified in a lineup, switched places with an innocent man who was then identified by all witnesses as the man they had seen. Since he was sitting in the defense's chair, they assumed he was the man they had picked out of the lineup, so clearly their original identification in the lineup was not based on actual recognition of the accused. This is an example of the fact that many people will assume if the police have arrested someone, they must be guilty, and also that the real criminal must be present in a lineup, therefore they should pick someone, whoever looks closest to the person they remember, because they believe the police don't make mistakes. Witness testimony in court is very persuasive to juries, and witnesses are almost always convinced they are identifying the right person. However, it is much easier to make mistakes than most people realize, but once convinced they are right, it is hard to show people the truth. Witness testimony should be used very carefully in criminal investigations.